Hello everybody! Today, we're going to unbox the Thor Fire VG15 Torchlight, take a close-up look and test it out. So let's go ahead and open up the package. Well, that's my worst opening ever. Okay, so let's put that aside, make sure there's nothing else there. Okay, so we're looking at the Thor Fire VG15 Torchlight here. Well, the box anyway. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so it looks like we've got a customer satisfaction card here, or product satisfaction card. Okay, happy. And then we've got a user manual. Okay, let's put that aside. And what else do we have in here? Just take everything out and then we'll go through them in just a moment. Okay, so the box is now emptied and first of all, it looks like we have a carry pouch for the torchlight. With a belt loop there. Okay, and let's see what else we have. So let's... Open up this little ziplock packet here. And it looks like we have a lens or glass and a washer. And then we've got a whole bunch of other stuff here. Let's take a look at this first. Okay, so we've got a little strap here, which you can attach to, if I can get it to focus, which you can attach to the torchlight. And it has an adjustable tensioner here. Okay, let's put that aside. And of course we have what appears to be a few different grommets or seals in three different sizes of varying thickness. And then we have, not quite sure what this is, I should actually read the user manual, but for time saving purposes we're just going to just look at these things and pretend we know what they are. Okay, this looks to be a switch or button. Okay, so now let's put that down and now let's go ahead and check out the torchlight. So it has an aluminium construction and it's anodized in black and it has a little pen clip style uh, secure clip here. So that's the button there to turn on or off the torchlight. And it has four lighting modes as well. So let's check it out in just a moment. Okay, so let me unscrew this little cap here. 
and it takes two types of batteries. It can either take a single 18650 battery or two CR123A batteries. So what I have with me is an 18650 battery here. Just to show you the differences between an 18650 battery in terms of size and a double A battery. So there we go. So quite the size difference and the voltage is quite different as well. Okay, so now let's pop this in. Screw it on. And this torchlight is actually IPX8 rated, so it's dust and waterproof, which is quite cool. So it's quite a rugged torchlight. Okay, let me turn it on properly now. So that's the strobe effect. Okay, so we're back nearly two weeks later. That's because I had a problem with my Thor Fire VG15 torchlight. When I popped in a brand new battery and turned it on, it went straight into strobe mode and um, I couldn't get it into the normal continuous lighting mode. And the only other mode I could get it in was to turn it off. So it's either off or strobe mode. So I got in touch with the seller manufacturer via email and they pretty much got back to me straight away. And I explained to them that the battery that I was using and they told me that that wouldn't do. So what they did was they were nice enough to send me their very own Thor Fire 18650 battery and they did so very quickly. So let's uh, pop in the battery and hopefully that would um, actually make a difference and get it out of the uh, strobe mode. So let's see. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Let's turn it on. And that's a good sign. It's nice and solid. And right now it seems to be in eco mode, which is the lowest lighting level. So let's uh, turn it off and back on and hopefully it will, yes, it comes back on onto the eco mode. So now let's uh, cycle through the different lighting levels. Apparently there are four lighting levels. So there's eco, low, medium and high. So let's try and do that. It's a light tap on the button. So there we go, the four levels. So eco, low, medium, high. Eco, low, medium, high. So it's a really soft tap on the button. It's not a full press or it's not, and it's not a click either. So it's just a light tap. And then let's try and get it into strobe mode. Apparently strobe mode requires a bit of practice. It's a double tap on the button. And there we go. And let's see what happens if we tap it again. Tap it again, brings it back into the regular lighting mode. And let's get into strobe mode again. There we go. So it requires a bit of practice, but it's not too difficult. It's just a double tap as you do changing the different levels of lighting. But um, there we go. See, we did it again. Requires a bit of practice, but not difficult at all. So let's have a look at the different lighting levels this way and see. I'm not going to shine it straight at the camcorder because that won't achieve anything, but I'll try my best to point it towards it so you can kind of see how bright the light is uh, shining sort of like directly in your face. Well, not directly, but you get the idea what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so let's turn it off. And uh, what I'm going to do for reference purposes, I'm going to show you two different torch lights here, just so you can see how brightly the Thor Fire VG15 shines. So what I have here is the EE power bar. I have previously did an unpacking video for this, and most of you would have this EE power bar. And I also have a pound shop or budget shop 
uh, torch light here. So this runs on three AAA batteries and you can see it, the different uh, kinds of uh, LEDs on them. So it's a single LED on the left with the EE power bar and nine LEDs on the right with the budget shop. So um, yeah, so just to show you the different uh, levels of illumination. So the EE power bar is more of like a handy torchlight where you're looking for your keys in your handbag or in your backpack for that uh, late night sandwich. And uh, on the right is just a budget shop or pound shop uh, handy light for uh, around the household. Okay. So let's uh, do a comparison. So let me uh, turn them off and then turn the lamps off to my side and then we can uh, check it out how it shines uh, on the wall. So I've got a wall right in front of my table here which is about two meters away from us and um, I'm not going to point the video camera fully on the wall because um, it's not going to focus too well so let's turn on the EE power bar so you can see it's uh, shining on the left and let's turn on the budget light here and there we go so we've got EE power bar on the left and budget light on the right and you can see the different uh, levels of brightness each torchlight offers and now I'm going to put the budget light down and I'll leave the EE power bar on the right for reference and then let's turn on the 45 VG15 and you can see straight away huge huge difference and let's go through the different lighting levels as well. So right now it's in eco mode, low, medium, high. Eco, low, medium, high. So you can see how bright and wide the flood is so now let's go outside, find some place dark, and test it out. Okay, so we're outdoors and we're down by the track, so don't try this at home, kids. And I've got the Thor Fire VG15 in my hand here, so let's turn it on. And of course, you could see that there, there's a tunnel straight ahead. Let's turn on the Thor Fire VG15 torchlight, and you can see straight away uh, it's nice and bright so I think this is the highest setting but let's cycle through the different modes or levels okay so right now it's in eco low medium high nope sorry let's try again eco low medium high and I'm going to point it straight in front so you can see how bright and nice and wide the flood is of the Cree XM-L2 LED so I'm going to wave it from left to right, just so you can see just how bright the illumination is. So let's step through the different modes or levels again. So eco, low, medium, high. So just see just how bright this is. And let's try strobe. If I can get it, and there we go, that strobe. And you can see just how dazzling this is. So that's the Thorfire VG15 torchlight. Thanks for watching and happy shining.